Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool, super easy uh, gift. Or you can make it for yourself, which I did. Or you could make it to sell, actually. You could probably do that too if you wanted to. Um, at any rate, this is a super easy, easy, easy thing to do. And I've only done it twice. So this is the third time you're going to see me doing this. So this will show you how easy it is. If you've watched my YouTube channels before, I'm sorry, my YouTube videos before, um, and hopefully you're a subscriber. Um, I like to do things that are clean and simple, super fast, and great results, and that's how I roll, because we all have a lot of time uh, that we need to take with our families, with our responsibilities, etc., etc., but we also like to have fun crafting, but what better way to craft by taking a small amount of time and getting big, awesome results? So that's what we're doing today. At any rate, um, we are making an awesome candle and we are personalizing it with a picture. So um, this is the first one I did. I will show you this right here. I don't know if you can see it really well. It might be a little bit shine there. Oh, that's good. Okay. And it's my favorite picture of my boys. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really funny. My kids both make each other laugh so hard that um, it's one of my favorite things to see and hear, and probably it is for you too. So I created this um, on a candle, and it's super easy with tissue paper. Yeah, I know, crazy, but it's true. So then I decided to step it up a notch, and I created this one also with tissue paper. It's a little bit bigger picture, and it also has a stamped sentiment. The sentiment is from this awesome stamp set um, for my boys. And I created this for my boys because I basically saw a picture that I had. It wasn't this one. It was a different one that inspired me to create this stamp set because they are basically my reason why. Um, my husband, when I saw him, he had me at hello. And always remember this moment because I'm trying to desperately make sure that I document our life in pictures, scrapbooks, etc., etc. So it's really important that we have these memories. Sadly, we've had a lot of um, people pass away in the past couple years, and it really does remind you that you want to make sure that you have those stories to share if they're not shared verbally, that you can have documented uh, stories and pictures of awesome times and memories you want to share with future generations even. So um, at any rate, so this here um, is the awesome stamp set called For My Boys. And you can check it out at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com or www.acjwm.com. So you can buy it there along with a whole bunch of other awesome, awesome, awesome stamps. We have coffee, we have sign language, we have awareness ribbons such as cancer, uh, autism, uh, breast cancer. We have a generic set that you can use for basically any awareness ribbon cause and color in whatever color is appropriate for your cause. Um, I really, really hope that you check out our website. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and to our blog slash email list. If you do so and you are registered for both of them under the same matching name, I will put you in for a drawing every week. You only have to do it once. That's it. As long as you're on there, I check it every week just to make sure that we have your name in there and if your name's in there you're put into for a drawing and you could win this awesome stamp set which is what we're giving away this week um, but at any rate I'm going to show you what you need for this awesome candle and then we'll go from there you need a heating tool or you can use a blow dryer I'm using a heating tool um, it does get rather hot so you want to make sure that you don't put it too close I will um, tell you that it can get a little melty um, this here I'm using memento ink I don't know if another ink would be better or worse. I just know that I'm using Memento ink and it looked great and that's why I like it and that's why I'm sticking with it. We have this awesome stamp block that is in our shop right now. I love this one. It's awesome. It's comfortable and also you're able to have a grip on it when you're stamping. I, I just love it. We have this candle from Ikea. You could use basically any candle you want. Um, this is from Ikea. You could go to the dollar store and get a bunch of candles. Whatever you like, use your favorite scented candle if you want. Um, I'm not sure if that would affect it at all. I just know that the plain generic white candles um, are 
working for me, so that's what I'm suggesting for you. If you want to try it out, by all means try it and let me know what happens because I love to hear um, you guys using this as a starting point and jumping off from there. You'll also need some masking tape. This is what I would suggest you use here. We also have some wax paper. It's just regular wax paper. Wax paper that you would use um, when you're cooking or whatever. And uh, paper. You're just going to need some of this um, notebook, uh, not notebook paper, I'm sorry, um, printer paper. That's it. Not cardstock, just flimsy regular printer paper. It's not, you know, super, super thick. Just printer paper. That's it. Nothing fancy. So um, if you want to check out more um, descriptions of what I'm doing, step-by-step -step pictures, and basically a list of all the things you'll need, you can go to our um, website and click on our blog and you'll have that information there. But if you're a subscriber, you already know that because this will already be sent to you in an email. I don't try to spam you because I don't like spam any more than anybody else. I do have Mondays with Melissa, so you'll get an email every Monday. That's about it, unless I'm having a special sale. Other than that, that's about it, that's all you get. So with that, let's get started. Um, what we're gonna need right now is I'm going to show you what I did ahead of time because there is a little bit of a prep work for this because I can't really show you my printer and how I did that um, as it's getting printed. Um, I have just a plain old Epson. I have a squeaky chair. I think it's the Epson 3620. I will put it in the um, uh, in the post for my blog. And if you're on the YouTube channel and you're checking out this video, if you go down into the information, there is a blog link with the exact link for this specific post. So make sure you check it out that's where all your information will be. Um, at any rate, um, you will definitely want to make sure that you have a printer available. I have just an inkjet. Like I said, I think it's the 30, It's an Epson 3640 uh, or 3620. I have both, so I'm not sure. Um, I will say that I think that this will work probably better on a rear-feeding printer, but you're welcome to try it with a front-loading printer. I didn't try it with my front-loading printer because I knew it would work with my rear-feeding printer. And if you don't understand what that means, I will show you right now because it is important and you'll know why in a second. So I'm just going to take this stuff out of the way so you can see what I've prepared so we can have some uh, stuff ready for you so you don't have to watch me tape paper. So what I did was I started with this paper right here. This is paper and all it is is a piece of paper with, you can see here, Close up, close up, close up. <laughs> it's a new word. <laughs> close up. You can see where I've put some of the um, scotch tape all around the edges. The only reason why I have that on there is so I make sure that it um, stays on the page um, because I don't want it to fall off. That's why we're basically um, putting our scotch tape on the paper to make sure that it stays on when it goes through the printer. Now, if you go have a printer that is a front loader, it'll go like this and it'll fold. I don't know how well that'll work. I'd hate for it to catch here if you're wasting your ink by um, doing a, print, a picture like I am. You'd hate to do it one time and then have to do it again. But I will say that it worked really great with my rear feeder. So what I did was I basically took a big piece of just plain tissue paper. It's, it's nothing fancy, it really is not. Um, I'll even show you, here's a little sample. This is the tissue paper. It's really nothing fancy. I um, had it in my Christmas wrap and birthday wrap box, so I just took out a plain piece of tissue paper. It's just white. Now you can use whatever color you want. If you wanted to use a specific color, if you wanted to use a fancy color, whatever you want, you could use this. You could also do napkins. I haven't done napkins before, but I do know what this does with your, um, excuse me, with your tissue paper, so that's why I chose to do this. So we have the tissue paper, we have a piece of printer paper, and we have our tape. So all you're basically gonna do is you would take your paper and take cut out a piece of tissue paper that you think will be about the size of the picture you're going to use, and make sure you leave space for the stamped area, and I'll show you why in a minute. Then you'll use this tape, and you'll wanna put some tape right on here and make sure that you've got all the edges because if you don't, it'll get um, it'll get pushed up and you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that you have your tape put right on here, okay? So I just added that little piece, so that's all done. So after I did that, I then took it and put it in my printer, and when I printed it, this is what came out, 
okay? This is, as you can see, I'll give you a little close-up shot. This is tissue paper. This is literally straight from my printer. I have done nothing to it other than get it from my printer. That's all. And as you can see, this picture is awesome. Isn't it awesome? I just love it. Um, this is Christian before he got his hair cut and Austin before he got his hair cut. They both had really long hair, uh, I think within the last two months or so. And um, they are awesome kids. But um, unfortunately, and fortunately for them, they got their hair cut. So unfortunately, they don't look like that anymore. But fortunately, they got their hair cut. I really like long hair, so I'm good with that, but irrelevant. They're super handsome anyway. And no, I'm not biased at all. Anyway, so we have this right here. So this is the um, uh, tissue paper with the printed area on it. Now, if you notice, there was a little bit of a blurb right there and a little bit right here. We're not gonna use that part, so it's fine. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take out my block and I'm gonna take out my ink and I'm gonna take out my set of stamps and it would be really great if I could find them. If I can, great. If I can't, oh, just kidding. I've got them, they're right here, hiding from me. So I just keep mine in an envelope. So I'm gonna take out my stamps and in doing so, I am going to um, use the same one that I had before and it's You Are My Reason Why. So we'll just take that right off. We're going to place this right on here already done, ready to go. And then we're gonna ink it. So we'll just put a little bit of ink on there. And the reason why, like I said before, is that we had some space here, is we wanna make sure we have enough space for the area that we're gonna be putting on the candle, okay? So like for example, we're gonna put this right here. Make sure it lines up. Looks good. It's a little crooked, but that's okay because I have another one ready already I can show you. And so we can put that away. Now see this little spot and that little spot, we can always cut around it. Now say I really didn't like this, which I don't, I'm gonna do another uh, image right there and I'm just gonna redo it on the top. It really didn't matter to me whether it was on the top or the bottom, so I'm just gonna re-ink it and place it up on top, right like that. Okay, that looks good. And you wanna make sure that you don't stamp on top of the um, tape because it won't work, because your um, tissue paper will actually basically melt into your candle. So it doesn't do any good if your tissue paper has tape on it because it's not gonna melt anywhere. So with that, I forgot to let you know that you're gonna need some scissors. So you're gonna to wanna to cut this off. And I'm basically just cutting it exactly what I wanna use. So I will do this like so. And I'm gonna go back and trim it just a little bit more evenly just because I'm a little bit picky. There we go. And then I'm going to cut this area right here. And then I'm gonna cut this area right here. Like so. And then I'm just gonna cut the area where the tape is just so I know that I've got all that tape off of there. Now, you could actually take off the um, uh, paper and then cut it that way, but I think it's a little bit more sturdy this way, so that's why I do it this way, okay? Now, this is what you're going to be left with. You see this right here? And um, you can see how very um, thin it is, how transparent it is, and how it looks. I love the look of this. It's really kind of neat. It'd be cool to just put this on a... Um, scrapbook paper, maybe using Mod Podge or something like that. I'm not sure. I'll have to play with that next, maybe. Anyway, so we have this right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap our candle. And this is a bigger one than our example. This is the example we have right here. Okay. Um, I got a much bigger one. I just decided I'd use a bigger one for uh, demonstration purposes. And this one here is the one without um, the sentiment on it. And if you wanted to, you could really stamp the sentiment and just do that part. I'd just be worried about this part melting, so I don't know if that would work right. You could try it, I guess. Couldn't hurt to try, right? So we're just gonna unwrap this little guy. I say little in a very funny way because it's huge. Um, it is, well, it's in centimeters. Let's see, it says three inches by seven and three quarter inches. 
So fortunately, Ikea is smart and they know that I am used to inches because I live in the U.S., so I'm not really good with centimeters, so I wouldn't be able to do very well with the uh, um, switch of that. Um, I can't think of the word that I'm looking for. Translation, no, uh, I don't know it. I'm just gonna give up with that. Anyway, so we're gonna need this right here. I'm gonna put these away so you can see that um, uh, what it looks like, this one and this one, but we're gonna fix this up here. So then we're gonna need our awesome piece of wax paper. Now I have already cut this wax paper, so it'll work perfectly fine, but I did use just a generic, regular piece of wax paper. It's not fancy, it's just what I had bought, and it was in my stash of cooking stuff, and that's what I used, so that's it. So what we're gonna do, now there's a few things you can do. You can use pins to hold it in place. I'm not gonna do that. Maybe I should, but I'm not going to. I wanna make sure that this lines up the way I'd like it. So I'm just gonna make sure this is like this. I'm gonna put a little itty bitty piece of tape on it, just right here. And then right here, just to make sure it lines up the way I like it. Okay, I'm gonna take that off, so don't worry. So I just wanna make sure that looks good. It does look good. And I didn't even push it down all the way, so I'm gonna pull that right back up. Fortunately, scotch tape doesn't like to stick to itself or stick to candles, so we're good. And then I'm gonna pull this cutie up if it lets me. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we're gonna just carefully pull that up. I love being proven wrong. Just kidding. Okay, so what we have here is we have the candle and we're gonna take it and we're just gonna lay it face down with the area that you want done. And we're gonna hold it like so, so that the creation doesn't fall off. So you wanna hold it like this and then this will roll right back on like this. And basically what I did was I took it and I know it sounds really strange, but I basically made it like a little sandwich or a little baggie that you would, you would fold over so I have a little handle. And that's what you're gonna do. This is what it looks like here, okay? So I'm just holding this area like that. That's what the holding of it does. So I made it a little bit longer with the wax paper. And so I also wanna have a little bit of space so that I don't have to hold it super close because it's gonna be hot. I will tell you that right now. So let's do this right here. And then we're going to use our heating tool or our dryer and we're going to get busy and let's see here we're going to get busy and start the process okay i'm going to turn one of these lights off i think it's this one yep that's one of them okay maybe not i'll turn that light back on okay so i think this will work as soon as it starts to change all righty then so you're just going to turn on your heating tool and you're going to watch the magic. And you can see the difference between how it's, it's much clearer and you can see how it's really, really showing its color and where it's kind of opaque. So you want to basically make sure that it's the clearer part where it looks like it's melted, okay, and not opaque. See the difference? And it's basically melting the tissue paper into the candle. Pretty neat, huh? See how the color is coming alive, basically? That's how you can tell it's done. And you want to make sure you're moving it around. You don't want to stay on the same spot too much or else you might overheat it. And you don't want to do that because then it'll get a little bit melty and that doesn't look good, right? Pretty cool, huh? Like I said, 
It's really easy and super great results. I love the way it looks. It's really neat how it comes out. And I thought I'd share it with you. Again, this is the third time I've done this and I think it looks pretty neat. Coming out pretty good. It does get hot, so be careful. You don't want to burn your hand, especially with the heat tool. Making sure it's all done in there. Looking good. Now you can make a whole bunch of these all at once if you wanted to. That'd be really neat. I'm going to turn this over and just make sure these sides are done real well. I'm going to keep that down and turn it around a little bit. Make sure this side's done real well. And it looks good. Even though it's upside down. <laughs> so I think we're good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. I want to make sure it's all done. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Last little hurrah. Okay. I think it looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply take this and I'm going to peel it off. It's like a present, right? And this, my friends, is your candle. I know, isn't this cool? I love it. I think it's the coolest thing ever. Um, I will say that there's a lot of different ways you could probably do this. This is to me the easiest, the fastest, and what an awesome gift for grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, all kinds of just really cool stuff. Parents, is this not the coolest? I just love it. So I would love it if you are a subscriber to our YouTube channel and to our, um, our uh, <laughs> it helps if I know what I'm talking about, doesn't it? See? Got to have one of these little comments every single time because that's how great I am. I like to be um, have some continuity in my videos. I always like to make mistakes. At any rate, please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and to our blog slash email so that you can be entered to win this awesome stamp set that was used with this fantastic, awesomely cool candle. Now, this is what I did here, and this is without the sentiment. And this right here is the cool stamp set that we use to create this awesome creation. So I do hope that you had a fantastic day. I hope that you have an enjoyable week. And I do hope that you enjoyed going on a creative journey with Melissa. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.